In this video, I want to talk to you about meridians, myofascial lines, and functional anatomy. In these images, we can see that the myofascial lines look a lot like the meridians. The myofascial lines can help us to better understand much more about acupuncture point actions and why points work the way they do. Myofascial lines help us to understand traditional points, master dong's points, extra points, ashi points, and more. These lines can also help us better understand things like proper needle depth, angles, and needling techniques in general. The myofascial lines are also organized around structural and functional muscle groups. This relationship between structure and function is essential to understand, and functional anatomy examines the relationship between structure and movement. In traditional theories, we speak a lot about qi stagnation and the importance of moving qi. This relates to movement that occurs in the meridians and myofascial lines. By bridging the gap between meridians and myofascial anatomy, acupuncturists can greatly increase their skills and knowledge of point energetics. Comparing myofascial lines to meridians also gives us a strong foundation for treating structural issues involving various types of misalignments. When you understand the connections between meridians, myofascial anatomy, structure, and movement, you will better understand acupuncture point functions and get better clinical results.